everyone. I'm just about to start my workout for today. Um, here's what I would like to do is just get right into the workout so I get it done and get it out of the way. I am using my Oogie ball today. I'm also using a set of five pound dumbbells, but um, I wanna just do the workout first so you can see what I'm doing and then stick around because after the workout, I will walk you through equipment-free modifications in case you don't want to work out with weights or if you don't have a ball, I'll show you how to do the exact same workout using only your own body weight. Um, no workout equipment necessary. The other thing is that um, I wrote this workout initially as an AMRAP, meaning as many rounds as possible. Um, what I was going to do was set a timer to count down 20 minutes and then just see how many rounds of this little circuit I could get through in 20 minutes. And at the last minute, I decided to um, instead just do five rounds of the circuit and see if I can get that done in under 20 minutes. So either way, if you want to turn it into a 20 minute AMRAP or a 30 minute or 15 minute AMRAP, if you only have a limited amount of time today, um, that's another option. But I'm going to do five rounds of this little circuit and just try to get uh, get it done in under 20 minutes if I can. <laughs> I don't think that's realistic. I think it's going to take me more like 30 minutes, but we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And then afterwards I will um, show you the equipment free modifications. So please stick around for that. I'm going to be starting with plank jacks with my elbows on my Oogie ball, um, 20 reps. So here we go. Timer's going. Elbow plank <clears throat> on the Oogie ball. Starting with the feet together and jump out and in, that's one rep. Two, three, four, five, we're going to 20. That's 20. For the next exercise, I'm just gonna hold on to one dumbbell. Um, just because you can do this holding both dumbbells, but I find it a little awkward. Um, the weight is not too much for me, but I just find it easier to just hold one. So um, whatever's easier for you. But we're doing weighted ball choppers. So I'm gonna sit up and twist, bringing the weight down to one side. Return weight to the center, and return to the starting position. That's one rep. We're alternating, alternating sides. So sit up and twist. That's two. And again, we're going to 20. One more exercise, it's a real short circuit. There's three exercises. So for this last one, I will be using both of my weights. These weights, as I mentioned, are five pounds a piece. So these are my lighter weights. Um, I think it's best to choose weights that feel light to you for this workout, whatever that is for you. So I'm going to start lying on my back. I'm holding the weights and I have my hands uh, or arms extended above my head. Um, both feet on the oogie ball. I'm going to press into the oogie ball with my heels and do a glute bridge raise, lifting my hips up and squeezing the glutes at the top. From here, I'm going to uh, keep those the hips lifted high the whole time. I'm going to bring the weights up overhead and then press them Return the weights to the starting position, hips come down. That's one rep. We're doing 20, okay? I'm not gonna count that. 
I'm just gonna do um, 20 reps starting from here, okay? So, lift the hips, press the weights, down and down, that's one. That's round one. Just gonna repeat that four more times, or like I said, you can just repeat it as many times as you can in whatever time limit you wanna set for yourself, 20 or 30 minutes or whatever. I am almost six minutes in right now, so I'm right on track to finish this in 30 minutes, which is 10 minutes off my goal, but also exactly what I thought it would probably take me. So now that I've demonstrated everything and explained what we're doing, I'm gonna to try to just uh, focus a little more on picking up the pace so that I can hopefully finish this in closer to maybe 25 minutes. So um, you know what we're doing now, we're just gonna repeat it four more times. So let's start at the top with our plank checks, 20 reps. Here we go, round two. Raises with uh, our little 
little overhead press. Or whatever you call this, I remember. 20 reps.
arms left. I'm not gonna stop and think at my time. I'm just gonna keep my head down and try to get through these last two rounds as quickly as I can with excellent form. Here we go. Lift the hips high, keep them high. Squeeze those glutes the whole time until you lower the hips back down. Up and squeeze. Control the movement with those dumbbells. Down and up. Three. Fifteen, five more. Sixteen. Seventeen, you should be really feeling those little booty cheeks. I am. Eighteen, just two more. And 20. That's round four. Just one round left. Here we go. 20 crank jumps.
I'll talk first. All right, what am I doing? Really well on time. Managed to pick up the pace a lot after that first round when I was demonstrating and explaining everything. So let's get through these last 20 reps with good form. And then bonus burpee, and then awesome. That's 15, just five more. <clears throat> 16. Oh, it's flying in my face and I can't show it away. Call me. 17. 18, I suppose I could bludgeon it to death with one of these weights, but that seems like an overkill. 19. And here comes the sweat in my eyes, right on my last rep, that's 20. All right, get up. No collapsing on the floor after the workout. Get up, shake it out. Move around a little. We have one rep left. taking me a total of 25 minutes and 12 seconds and I think if I was just doing this workout on my own without making the video and having to demonstrate and explain everything I think I could have gotten much closer to my 20 minute goal um,
because after the first round, I was already at six minutes and I finished in just over 25 minutes, which means that each of the subsequent five rounds I did in under five minutes. So if I could do each round in under five minutes, then I could get really close to my 20 minute goal. Um, so I think it was a little bit ambitious to set a 20 minute goal, but I knew that going in. I thought it would take me closer to 25 or 30, which is exactly what happened, but um, I didn't miss 25 minutes by much. And um, like I said, if I would deduct the time I spent during round one demonstrating and explaining, I definitely would have finished in under 25. So I'm happy with that. I didn't think this workout was super intense. Um, my heart rate was not as high as it normally is. I didn't feel as fatigued as I normally do. You know, I wasn't huffing and puffing. I didn't feel like it was as intense as um, the other workouts I've been doing lately, but I think that's a good thing because, you know, um, sometimes you gotta know, just, I think, scale it back a little bit. Um, we've been working really hard lately, so I think this was a great workout today. Um, before I wrap it up, let me just show you the equipment free modifications in case you don't have dumbbells or a ball. So, for the first exercise was plank jacks. I was doing elbow plank jacks because when I do them on my ball, I find it much more comfortable to rest my elbows on the ball. So you can do elbow plank jacks on your mat if you want. So you just come to an elbow plank and remember, don't drop those hips, keep the hips up to high. I'd rather have your booty up raised slightly than have your hips dipping down. But ideally you wanna be in one straight line from your shoulders to your heels. And then you're just gonna jump your feet out and in like a jumping jack, but from the plank position. So like this. So super easy modification. You're just doing the same exercise without the ball. You can also do those from a full plank position. So same thing up on your hands uh, with one straight line from your heels to your shoulders. So nice, strong, tight core. Abs are engaged and hips are lifted high. And then just do your plank jacks from this position. So the next exercise was ball choppers. So um, without the ball, you can really just substitute with any type of sit-up variation that you want. Um, but here's what I would recommend if you want to keep it similar to what I was doing. And again, I'm going to wait for another plane. <laughs> Very quickly, before I demonstrate this, let me just tell you that um, if you plan on following my workouts regularly or going back and looking at the hundreds of workouts that I already have on my channel, um, that Uki ball is not a bad investment to make. Personally, I think it is a little bit overpriced for what it is. However, um, you will get so much use out of it. It's a very versatile piece of equipment. Sometimes I use it for the weight aspect. Sometimes I use it for the balance aspect. It's kind of a hybrid between like a medicine ball and a Swiss ball. Um, so I do think it's a great investment. I acknowledge that it is a bit overpriced for what it is. I mean, it's a ball. It doesn't need to cost that much, but um, it would not be a bad investment. You would definitely get your money's worth out of it if you plan on following my workouts because I use it a lot. That being said, if you don't have one and you don't want to get one, that's totally fine. Um, I was using weights, well, one weight for this exercise as well. I love living close to the airport, I really do. But let me just wait for one more plane. So this set of dumbbells that I'm using today are at five pounds a piece. I get by just fine with only two sets of dumbbells. I have my lighter set, which are five pounds, and I have my heavier set, which are 10 pounds. And that's fine for me. I, I do all my workouts using just those two dumbbells when I do use weights. Um, so, or four dumbbells, two sets of dumbbells. Uh, the point is that today I chose my lighter weights. So these are five pounds a piece. You may need something lighter or heavier. That depends on you. That depends on your strength and on your level of fitness, what you have available to you, how hard you want to push yourself today. And um, yeah, just choose. I, I think you should choose for this workout a lighter set of weights though. Here's the thing, I can, I, I could have, this workout would have been very doable for me with my heavier weights, but I think these are more appropriate for the exercises that we were doing today. Now I will say that for this, the ball choppers, I was only holding one weight. It probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to use these lighter weights for the third exercise, but just have one heavier, one 10 pound dumbbell to use for the ball choppers. 
because the only reason I did that is because I find it a little awkward to do the bell choppers holding the weights like this, but you can. Okay, so just use the weight that's appropriate for you and you can hold one weight like I was, or you can hold them together like this. That is your preference, okay? So the same exercise without the um, ball would look like this. Just a sit up and a twist. And then return to the starting position. Sit up, twist, okay? You can also do that holding a one heavier weight or both of your lighter weights. You can do sit up, twist, sit up and twist, okay? If you don't have dumbbells, <clears throat> you can use a kettlebell or a medicine ball for your weight, uh, or you can use a household item like a water bottle or, you know, a bag of rice or you know, whatever you have available to you. Um, get creative and use what you've got. If you don't want to use any weights, that's fine. You can just sit up and twist like this. You can do two twists for each setup if you want, since you're not uh, holding on to weights. You can just do Russian twists like this. Okay, really any kind of ab exercise, any kind of sit-up variation with or without weight will work for that exercise. If you need an equipment-free uh, sub modification or just a ball-free modification. And for the final exercise, again, I have my lighter weights. I definitely would recommend using lighter weights for this one. I think I could do it with the heavier weights. I think it would have taken a lot longer and it would have been so taxing and I just, I think that the lighter weights are the way to go for this exercise. But um, I'm just gonna do the exact same exercise without the ball. So instead of having my feet elevated on the ball, they'll just be on my mat, press into my heels, engage those glutes, lift those hips up high, squeezing the glutes the whole time. And the rest of the exercise is the same. So I'm gonna lift the weights up so that they're, my, they're right above my shoulders, not here ideally and not here but straight up, like perpendicular uh, to my upper back. Bend the elbows down, lightly tap them to the ground, control the movement down, control the movement back up, lower the arms back to the starting position, and control the movement down, lower the hips. So it's the exact same exercise, um, but my feet are on my mat instead of on the ball. If you don't have a ball, but you do wanna challenge yourself more, you can always use some other elevated surface, like a small plyo box would be perfect, or a sturdy chair or a park bench. You could take this to the park and, and use a bench or just any kind of, maybe your coffee table or your couch, um, if you're doing it in your living room, any kind of elevated surface to put your feet on. Um, the instability of the ball adds a little a, a extra challenge, but just elevating your feet on something sturdy and stable um, will still add difficulty, difficulty to the exercise, um, but if not, you can just do it the way I showed you. And if you wanna do it without the weight, then yeah, same thing. So, um, just at feet elevated or not, just do glute bridge raises. And if you want to uh, do the same motion with your arms, not holding any weight, that's fine. Again, you can hold onto water bottles or some other type of household item, or you can just keep your arms down to the side for a little added stability and just do glute bridge raises if you want. Okay, that is totally up to you, but um, again, very easy to make modifications if you don't have any exercise equipment. And again, as always, if you need any help beyond what I've shown you in the video already, uh, with modifications or substitutions. If anything is unclear about the exercises themselves or the format, if you have any questions at all, please just reach out. I am right here. I'm always more than happy to help in any way I can to answer questions or help with modifications or substitutions. Um, so just reach out if you have questions. And finally, before I wrap things up, I need to give you today's secret code phrase of the day. Um, I have been doing these at home 
HIIT style workouts for over eight years now. I think I started in 2014, maybe 2015. But I used to um, record the whole workout, but then before I would share it on YouTube, I used to edit it down so that the video was about five to six minutes long, generally, um, so that you could watch the video and see what everything looks like and then go and do the workout on your own. That's how I used to prefer to do it. I used to like to see the exercises and then write down what I'm doing and then go do it on my own. So that's the way I used to make my videos. But I got so many requests from people asking me to show the whole workout. And so many people, you should stop putting the videos so short. You should show the full workout, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I listened. And now I'm showing you my whole workout, every single rep so that you can do it right along with me if you want, and we can work out together. However, even though I only did this because so many people asked me to do it, I don't think anyone actually watches the whole video, so I've been conducting an experiment for the last two weeks-ish, and I've been giving you a secret code phrase of the day just to see who's watching at this point. So here's what I would like you to do if you are still watching the video. Leave me a comment. So go down to the comment section right now and type I'll be wearing plaid pants and saddle shoes. Okay, that's today's code phrase of the day. So leave me a comment that says, I'll be wearing plaid pants and saddle shoes. So far, no one has left me a comment with the secret code phrase of the day. It's gonna happen one day though, and I'm going to be so ecstatic. So be that someone and you will make my day. All right, so <laughs> that is it. For today, I'll be wearing plaid pants and style shoes. Type that in the comment box, comment section. And um, that's it for today. I thought this was a really great workout, even though, as I said, it was a little less intense. Um, I still thought it was a really great workout. I actually enjoyed it. Um, so if you did this with me today, thank you very much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. That is it for today, and I will see you all next time. Bye.